it's Ken again. Well, we've moved to a new location, still not in Houston downtown, but this is really cool. What is this? This is uh, the park built by Williams people. Williams Tower is right there. Oh yeah, Williams Tower. That is a, uh, that's a droner's dream right there. I can feel the blood pooling in all the good spots. And this here, here <laughs> yeah. right, this is a droner's wet dream. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. This is the Williams Tower. It was originally called the Transco Tower and it's located in the uptown district of Houston, Texas. Construction happened very quickly, beginning in August of 1981 and completing in December of 1982. It cost $300 million to build and has about one and a half million square feet of office space. At night, the building has a 7,000 watt beacon that sweeps across the sky and can be seen up to 40 miles away. The Williams Tower is the fourth tallest building in the state of Texas at 902 feet, that's 275 meters. On September 13, 2008, during Hurricane Ike, the top of the tower was damaged near the rotating beacon and many windows were completely blown out. The hurricane caused $3.5 million in damages to the skyscraper. The building was resold in 2013 for 412 million dollars. Hey, welcome to my drone channel. Today, pants shopping, right? <laughs> yeah. That's right. This is my friend Luke's uh, girlfriend, Katie. I'm Katie. And that's Luke. He doesn't want to be on YouTube, so <laughs> no YouTube for Luke. But we're gonna go but pants shopping. But he needs shopping. pants as bad as Ken. So we're both gonna get <laughs> pants, and this is our pants consultant. Yes. And and dudes over 40, you really need to bring a fashion slash pants consultant with you when you shop. If you don't have children, uh, then you need to borrow one. You need a pants Not to say that you're a, a child anyway. or anything. Right, right, right. That's dudes what I'm saying. Dudes of all ages need a pants consultant. That's right, because apparently my pants that I'm wearing right now are not looking so hot. Not cool. No. All right. So where are we going? Belk. Belk! Is it cool and hip? It's cool and hip. Am I going to be trending? You're going to be trending. Woo! You thought I was kidding. <laughs> We're really here. Pant City. It's all about style. Oh, yeah. Are the ladies going to love me? Oh, my gosh. So much. I can't wait. <laughs> I think we're here. We don't know my size. I don't know where his truck is. We're just out in the middle of here. Just, she's digging in my pants. Luke, is that all right with you? Your girlfriend's digging in my pants. So step one is trying on pants for the size, yes. right? If you'll, but if you'll notice, the pockets are totally different than the casual look. Oh, I didn't know there was different looks. Oh, different I thought there was just pants and no pants. Oh, Ken. I prefer pants. No, I prefer pants. Yeah, yeah. I prefer no pants. I take that back. Okay. These are the 36s. No. These, yeah, these are like skinny jeans. Those okay. are not skinny jeans. Well, they're not jeans, but look at their... Those are appropriate. Huh? Check out the groceries. Yes! Yeah, these... These won't... These are not happening. No. So there's my fashionista. Are these pants good? Oh, good. All right. Look, buddy. Your girlfriend's back there at the perfume counter. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Excited. We, we were heading towards the exit. Mm. Almost made it. Got him. <laughs> but it, at least she smells good. Yep. Hey, we got clothes. <laughs> this video lovingly sponsored by RemotePilot101.com. If you are serious about making money with your drone, whether it be photography 
or FPV, well, then you're going to need from the FAA a 14 CFR Part 107 certification. And the best place to study for that certification is remotepilot101.com. Jason Shepard is a pilot and author of eight best-selling aviation flight training books. And yes, taking tests suck, especially government tests. But Jason breaks it down into 10 easy lessons into little digestible pieces that even someone like me can learn from. And if I can do it, you can do it, by golly. Each lesson is streamlined. There's no fluff. Everything you need to know for the test and nothing more. Plus, it's regularly updated, so if something new comes out, a new regulation, or the FAA just has a mood swing, Jason will let you know about it. As more and more drones are integrated into the United States airspace, the FAA will be coming out with more and more regulation, including things like remote ID and all the other crazy things you've been hearing about. So protect yourself, get the knowledge, become a Part 107 certified drone operator. There's never been a better time to get certified, so get the smarts you need to pass that test at remotepilot101.com. Use Heron18 to get 30% off. That knocks the price down to 104 bucks. Look at that! Boom! Magic time! 22,000 tests passed and counting. You wouldn't drive without a driver's license. Don't fly without a UAS license. Remotepilot101.com. Oh, there we go. One more mile. And I turn over 100,000 miles in my 2011 Mazda RX-8. I bought it when it had 14,000 miles on it about three years ago. So I planned on doing a little dance, but it's, it's raining, but I'll still do it. Wherever it rolls over, I will pull over and do a little dance. Oh my God, it is going to be near the police. The, oh my, <laughs> One hundred thousand miles on the Mazda. Yeah, love it. Yeah, here's to another hundred thousand. Woohoo!